Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's talk about Haley in this last episode of Love During Lockup. So Haley took her six-year-old son, Hendrix, to go see his father at the park. And her son is a little cutie. So Jared is Haley's ex and they share custody of Hendrix. And they have a pretty good co-parenting relationship going on. So Jared and Haley, they were actually engaged for three years. They thought they were soulmates and madly in love until this happened. I found out he had slept with my best friend of 10 years, and he actually did it in the same roof that I was under, sleeping with our two-year-old baby. Man, that takes some balls to do under the same roof as your baby mama and fiance. That's crazy, but good for Haley for not putting up with that. And Haley and her ex, they really give me Harley Quinn and Joker vibes. So it took over three years for Haley to get over Jarrett, but now they're in a really good place. So Jarrett is going to watch Haley's son for the night so Haley can have a date night with Dalton over the phone. And Haley's ex, Jarrett, was trying to tell Haley she just needs to focus on herself. And Dalton's just a waste of time. He was warning Haley, like, look, you don't even know this man. You've only spoke with him on phone calls and letters. And Haley said, well, I think you can get to know a person more that way. And that ain't true. You don't really know a person until you live with them for, like, a year or two. And even sometimes then you don't even fully know them. You have to see them go through all the highs and lows. Because it's real easy for a relationship to be smooth sailing over phone calls or letters because you can just easily put on a mask and Dalton isn't dealing with real world problems in prison so it's a whole nother ballpark when he gets out and when you see him get mad and get angry and see how he handles all those situations in person that's how you really get to know a person so Haley's ex is scared that their six-year-old son's memories are going to be of a dude in prison and he said he doesn't want that for his son Jared said he isn't in jail or prison because he doesn't want his son to go through that. So why should he have to go through that with somebody else? And Haley's ex was also talking from a place of experience because he grew up and all his early memories he had of his dad is visiting his dad in prison. And he almost went down the same road as his dad, but he wanted to do better and change his life. So then Haley and Dalton had their little date night. And Haley got herself some roses and some food. She fried her little pot roast in the skillet and she cooked that thing completely wrong at first i was like that's what settlement steak looks like and then i realized she made a freaking pot roast in the skillet and she didn't put no seasoning on that thing either and did you guys notice the size of Haley's pupils they were freaking huge like pinpoint pupils are usually from heroin or opiate use and big pupils are typically from cocaine or meth use or it could be from a medication she's taken but I was like damn those girls pupils are bigger than some of these inmates futures like, I couldn't even tell what color eyes Haley has because all I could see was black from her pupils. So Haley said that cooking for these date nights is also perfect practice for when Dalton comes home. So they're one big happy family. So Dalton calls Haley and he wants her to describe how the food tastes. And I don't know how he does that. Like, I remember like six years ago when I was last in jail, the last thing I wanted to do was hear about all the things I was missing out on while I was behind bars it would be hard for me to sit there and hear someone rubbing in how great this steak and cheese that tastes like garlic taste while I'm sitting here eating mystery meat and freaking ramen noodles in jail and if you guys been to jail before then you know all about that mystery meat like, to this day, I still have no idea what that mystery meat was made of. So, then Haley tells Dalton that she's considering buying a house and putting $30,000 down on a house. And what, she got like 80000 from this car wreck and she said she already spent like $25,000 on Dalton. So, after she buys this house, she's not going to have much left. But she says that she has to buy the house because Dalton's a felon and it's going to be hard for him to get into housing. So, then they start talking about Dalton's dad and Haley wants to go meet up with Dalton's dad tomorrow and Dalton doesn't really have a good relationship with his dad and doesn't talk to him so he doesn't understand why Haley is talking to him and trying to get to know him so even though Dalton doesn't really want Haley to meet her his dad she decides she's gonna move full steam ahead and still meet up with his dad tomorrow and I'm sure we'll see all that go down next week 
And I have been keeping up with Dalton in present time, trying to see if he's going to be released from prison anytime soon. It started to sound like he might get released soon because he applied for a motion to get paroled from prison. Typically, if you served at least like one third of your sentence, you can apply to try to get paroled. And they ended up denying him due to the fact that he has so many previous charges and he's been a runner in previous times when he was put on probation and parole he did not show up for court and they're pretty much like look you didn't abide by the rules and do what you're supposed to do the previous 20 times we let you go on probation or parole what makes us think that you're gonna abide by the rules this time so that's it for this video guys let me know your thoughts about Haley and Dalton in this last episode in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching